I am very often surprised by when we have discussions or when we see discussions about leveling up or localism and leveling up and how, as as I think it's uh, our Will, the little whippersnapper <laughs> over on Conservative Home, the young conservative, the Mogmentum champion, um, as he describes himself, uh, recently wrote in an article that localism and leveling up don't go together because these local people don't know really what they want. They don't know what's good for them. So it's up to sort of the central government to actually decide what is good for them. <laughs> when in many cases, um, certainly we've seen many conservatives would argue against that entirely. This is why we're having a whole, or at least we're seeing in sort of the conservative movement, a massive debate between, as we've said before, was it uh, Yimbyism, which is uh, yes in my backyard, and Nimbyism, which is not in my backyard. So this we keep on seeing, and even the conservatives are very, very split. The whole thing we've seen about housing planning that was basically tearing the non-parliamentary Conservative Party to shreds. Even many local Conservative councillors dare not even bring this up as an as actual point on the doorstep to local peoples that we saw in local campaigns and even by-elections because they were so terrified of what type of um, person is this? Is this a is this, you know, Yimbyism or is it going to be a Nimbyism conversation? They, they just couldn't make their minds up. But we have seen time and time again that many different localities and, and, and local people really do know what they want from their areas and they just want more power to be able to do it. And this is why I think Labour, um, sometimes this gets laughed at from from people by the left, not a vast majority of people on the left, I want to point that out, um, because I don't think they, they themselves really do understand the importance of many of these sort of local communities who feel that that sense of community has been lost. And remember, most of this anti-localism, most of the, in fact, all of the criticism of it does come from the right. And it really boils down to phew, these these local people they they can't be trusted in in spending all this money no instead they should be forced to uh, compete against each other to decide who has the best idea and then we'll reward them with a pittance of what they really need to achieve these projects Allah uh, the whole leveling up uh, announcement we saw a couple of weeks ago. But of course, if you actually sort of go forward and talk to these people, and this is why I think localism, I think, is going to become the big buzzword at the next election, and why you are seeing Labour having a lot of policies focused around sort of localism. You are seeing the whole um, idea of there being sort of boards to decide how anti, uh, anti-socialism uh, should be punished in, in areas that's giving people local power and a say in their sort of community. You're seeing more pushes for bringing transport rather than it being sort of you know owned by a company brought into local administration. We've seen it happen in, in Manchester, and it's working out very successfully for Manchester. So could we see maybe these ideas rolled out and rolled forward? We're certainly seeing other regional mayors, certainly the Labour regional mayors, pushing for this as well. We're seeing it happen in South Yorkshire. We're also seeing it, the beginnings of it also in the West Yorkshire uh, mayoral region as well. And very likely, when it gets created, uh, you will probably see the same thing happen in the northern, northern uh, mayoral region as well. So localism is is not a, a, a small thing that the right overwhelmingly just dismisses because, like I say, after all, if you do give these people or, or local authorities more power, then you've got to be careful because th those some of those local authorities might be labor cons and, oh, we can't have that. And that's one of the big reasons you saw certainly the Conservatives and the Red Wall Conservatives in the first local elections, council elections after 2019, 
be like, oh my god, we're gonna have, we're gonna win all these local councils. It's gonna be amazing. We're gonna wipe out the Labour local councils up in the north as well. And yet, they really didn't. In in fact, those seats that we've seen Labour actually lose up here in the north, they've been rewon by um, by Labour cons very consistently. And it wasn't sort of the clean sweep that they said. But one of the big things we are seeing, and one of this, the in, and it's actually a consequence of austerity, is that we are seeing local people want more spaces. And what do they mean by they say spaces? Well, it's places for people to meet. It's places where they can go do activities. You know, together they can meet together in the local communities, and they can go and you know talk and you know bring the community together in these in these spaces. And there is very much a rejection of we don't want to go to a cafe because then we have to buy coffee. We want to go to these places for free. These should be spaces open for the community, owned by the community, so that you know we can have these these spaces where we can go and meet. And it is not surprising that. If you look at austerity, when austerity hit, many, many local authorities were forced to sell off these, these assets to try and, you know, deal with austerity. Because obviously, many of these spaces were, were very sort of, you know, tended to be sort of big community halls. And even they didn't survive austerity a lot. And most of these places were things where you saw playgroups, toddler groups. All kinds of different sort of you know groups meet in the community, and it brought together those communities. So it is no surprise that we are seeing, especially in in, in some recent polls, that people want these community spaces even more so than jobs, housing, or even transport. So this is but yet another reaction to years of austerity and the ways that councils. Uh, very, very reluctantly, in some cases, had to sell off uh, some of these spaces. So, will, of course, the Conservatives respond to this? Absolutely not, because they've shown the whole leveling up and their and their talk about wanting to sort of level up these places and communities certainly hasn't leveled out, hasn't borne any fruit. But now you've got Labour on this train with this whole localism wanting to sort of you know give local authorities more power to be able to decide over you know how their money is spent what it's spent on what they need i i really think this is going to be a lot bigger um vote winner than i think the conservatives and especially people on the right really think it is because uh, like i say most of the criticism you see is coming, hang on, is coming very much from, hang on, yeah, it's coming very much from the right. Hopefully I'm pointing in the right direction. Um, probably not, but there you go. Um, it, you know, it is coming from the right uh, when we see most of this criticism, and it is boils down to part these local people don't know what they're talking about, don't know what's best for them, um, you know, we'll, we'll tell them what's best for them. And yet, the, the main response to all this localism is pff, pff, labor giving them giving them power to to judge what they might need over over central government what is this oh what is this madness and yet i think after the next election if this proves does prove to be a big election winner i would not be surprised to see the conservatives start to jump on this bandwagon as well but it'll be a bandwagon that they cannot fully i think commit to um because if they do want to commit to localism, that would mean spending a lot more money on local councils and things like that. Something which, again, as their track record has continuously shown, they do not want to spend money on. So, as always, uh, thank you very much uh, for watching, guys. Please do remember to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And, of course, down below, there is a link to my Patreon page, uh, one of donation link called Buy Me Coffee. Thank you button, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please do remember to hit that like, share, and subscribe button on your way out. And of course, do remember to ring the bell as well. So as always, guys, we'll see you all next time.